Hello there, everyone. My name is Ayumu. I wanted to. I found it. We'll pry off the boards. Danger spiders. Oh, let's go in here. It's not gonna be able to wade through all that. I believe that's just the other side. But I was. I did some off looking around. I did find uh, another piece of Elvibrado scrap. The store has like 15 deadbolts on it. You take the note tacked to it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to be eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly expect to take it seriously. Let's open the door. Tunnel behind the opening goes straight up. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. All right, bye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, is there... Was that it? <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Well, let's. No, we're going back in there. I um. I can't fight the giant spider. I I want to fight the giant spider though. Okay, I guess there's no giant spider to be fought. Uh, that's kind of a huge bummer. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm glad I looked for that. Uh, we're gonna go to... A new area. Let's go to Ghostwood. No, let's go to Postal Station. Uh, a goblin is wandering along the path, muttering and ranting out loud to itself. As you get close enough, you hear Gary gasps. Oh, oh gosh, such filthy, la such language of filth speaking. What they say? Terrible and hard to translating. But to do having with Spore going into a wrong crevice and also a human insult. Gary not understanding. Whoa. Why not you cramming an entire baguette up your icing funnel? Ew, wow, what? Go marrying a bagel, muffin chucker. What the hell? I'm gonna talk to you. Look! 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 Where'd you learn to talk like... Where did you learn to uh, talking like that? Finding a guide to human cusses, cake sucker. Goblin shows a pamphlet listing a, pop, uh, a variety of popular profanity. In the back it says, brought to you by the Breadwood Board of Tourism. Teach them some new swears. Good cheat sheet. Giving me this pamphlet, and I am teaching you more and better swearing. Oh, wow, yes, okay. Uh, you rack your brain for the best in your things your uncle used to say when he was roaring drunk and the goblin is suitably impressed. Okay, good cheat sheet. This is a hand preference guide that most... Uh, this is an offhand, I don't care. I don't need to sass people. I totally need to sass people. Uh, it says, Postal Service Property, no trespass. Trespass away. That right, old stack of newspapers. So let's go through them. We got a letter to Roy Bean. Why not deliver it? Oh, hey, there's an undelivered letter underneath the stack. And it's addressed to Roy Bean. Old newspapers. We got a blank postcard! Discovered. Hmm, this article here is about how to change the name of nearby cemeteries due to so many skeletons being raised there. You mark down the cemetery location. You mark down the cemetery's location on your map. You discovered Reboot Hill. Uh, somebody has removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. This cabinet is full of maps. You have no idea what any of them mean. Maybe you should ask the post, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's a big map, the whole region. Both confusing annotations on it. Uh, all right. What they say to go talk to? Post office in Dirtwater. To Dirtwater! Don't tell me not to do post office stuff. I'll do post office stuff! Can I write more letters? No, you can only do one per day. What's up, man? I need some help tracking down some missing mail. Uh, how do you mean? Uh, mail delivery went missing uh, on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting on it... Hunting it on behalf of the mayor. Their mayor. Not my mayor. Their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, and but I don't know which one I need. Hmm. Well, this information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to give it out either. 
Uh, delivery's gone missing is bad news, though. Suppose it'll be right just as what? Hell, hold on a second. I'll get your information. After a couple of minutes, she comes back with a sheet of notepaper. Okay, so each map has a code number on it, you see, based on region and direction travel. She explains how it works in the code and gives you another cheat sheet. Postal code sheet. Thank her and leave. Mm, I'd like to send a postcard. Already, let's have it. Pretty quick note to Rufus, letting me know what you've been up to. Ah, oh, that's it. It's one of them prepaid. Be zero meat. Can I do another one? You've already sent a postcard today. <laughs> I, uh, no, I I think I read that at least. Maybe I didn't. If I didn't before, he's just, I think he just sass on me. Alright, well. Uh, Postal Way Station. I don't like people telling me what I can and can't do. Let's, uh, Victoria something. Victoria suddenly gets spooked by something off the side of the trail. It's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in a ditch, which is probably... Uh, which is a thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Hop down and investigate. Ring of getting places faster. Reduces the frequency of random encounters. <laughs> no way, dude. I want more random encounters. Twice as many random encounters. I don't even know what bureaucratic process we're involved in placing in the placement of this outhouse. Uh, you use the cheat sheet to find a route that leads to Breadwood. Follow the map. Chuck's house. Investigate the house. Hmm, something on the, about this house makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your finger on it. This place looks perfectly normal, after all, but you can't shake the feeling that there may be something very wrong going on there. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Oh, jeez! Probably just one of those bird feeders where you hang up a ball of suet and, er, suet and seed and stuff, except the birds ate it all, so you just have a rope here. Not suspicious at all. It's unmarked. There's no name on it or anything. That's definitely not spoopy. Alright, let's bust a door. You approach the door hesitantly. You could be getting yourself in a real bad situation. Let's knock on it. You knock on the door. A, a voice inside calls, Come in! It's open! It's always open! Alright, what's up? The door... Wait. Creaks open and you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of weird-looking knives and shears. The man is in of oh, indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins wildly as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor. Uh, hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. What? Blood and breakfast. Oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? It makes the lud. It makes lewd sound like lewd. A bed and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly. But I don't get that at all. <laughs> All right, cool. Why not? There's a lot of, there's a lot of blood on the floor. Ask Chuck about it. Uh, I can't help but notice you've got a giant puddle of blood on you for blood. Oh no, no! I can see why you might think that. This, you, this is certainly rolled, rolled, like blood, but it is tomatoes. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch very clumsily of me or clumsy of me I just was I was just getting start cleaning when you arrived I see kettle on the stove is still hot little pantry shelf with various tents take a look at it there is nothing very unusual but you do notice two jars that say sleepy time and earl green there's a large collection of steel chains and hooks on them as Knives, shears, and other bladed implements. Everything is covered with rust or possibly dried blood. Or possibly both. Ah, oh, you've noticed my collection. Yeah, it's, uh, dramatic. It all belonged to my father and his father before him. 
We will. Butchers! And you? <laughs> I do a bit, but not professional. I broke with family tradition to run my own little blood and breakfast. You're creepy, man. Chuck's staring at you. Notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he stares and then reset when he blinks, which is not often enough. Let's talk to him. Uh, excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You said you're running a blood and breakfast here. A bed and breakfast here. That's what I salute. Yes. Have a look at the guest room. It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest. My last guest has only just checked out. And I still need to clean up the mess. Oh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. What kind of sausages? Long pork sausages. My grandfather's recipe. Did you just say long pork? That's right. I make them longer than regular pork sausages. It's more filling that way. This is puzzling. I just spit. This is puzzling and uncomfortable. For many different reasons. Mental special tea blend. Yes, a very a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Hmm. Has a mailman been by recently? Why, yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you mean he just left. I like to think he'll always be here, in spirit. Thanks. What else you got? Okay. Sorry, that's private. It's my blood room. What? My blood room? Bedroom. Ah, oh, gotcha. Never mind then. Have a nice day, sir. Cellar door, man, it's all kind of horrors down there, kind of like some kind of medieval torture dungeon. It's locked, but it's locked to keep you out or to keeping something in. Whoa, it's a plot co lock! These things are unpickable! Uh, nanny? The guest room. Is there anything I can do? Alright, nope. Okay. See you later! Gonna go back to the postal station just in case. Fort Treason. But the part that says how far away it is burned off, you ride in the direction of the arrow for about 40 feet and you see the fort. Apparently it was 40 feet away. Let's continue where we're going. We'll go to there some other time soon. I want to check to see if we can do anything else here. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Don't care. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Alright. Mmm, Roy Bean. Roy Bean is a jelly bean, thieves hide it. Roy Beans! Beans Pimporium Beans! Uh, the already intense heat. Okay, so it's the heat thing. Uh, let's fight him. Oh, yeah, we got the jump on him! I think these things are fairly strong. Yeah, they're fairly strong, so. Ice, ice, baby! Oh, shoot, they're gonna survive. Uh, let's, de let's debuff them. That way they're more apt to die. Which would be. No! Which would be ideal. Oh, well, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Right, let's ice him again. Just because their fire attack takes longer. And we also have to go through a lot of their movements. 
And since I'm untouchable, there's no threat in this fight. So, you know. I can actually use two more action points, I guess. Uh, we got some stuff for it. Awesome. In those kind of situations, I'll definitely drop that back down. Alright, let's go. I found this letter addressed to you. A letter? Wait. A letter? You know, get my letter. Give it to him. Hand on the lever and he opens it and snorts it searchfully and tosses it in the fireplace behind him. Get 50 experience. Thanks anyway. You don't know jelly beans. I'm still looking for him. I'm on the case. Sorry about my chair. I need to get some WD-42 on this. I would not want to poop outdoors. All right, awesome. Now we're going to go to Ghostwood. Uh, you, an odd bit of wood on the ground catches your eye, and on closer examination, it appears to be the corner of an old wooden box mostly buried under the ground. Let's haul it up. Uh, you wretch, wrench the old truck out of the ground with a mighty grunt. Arrgh! And knock the rusted padlock off in front of the rocks. It's full of experience points. That is fantastic. I love experience points. Ooh. I might expect to be able to walk through the ghost doors of the building, but it's just some kind of force prevents you. I guess you could knock on the force. Knock on it! Whoopsh! 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 Your fist makes a distant echoey plap sound in the ballroom. And the barroom door. And the ghostly voice comes... Howdy there, howdy there, fella, new in town. Yeah, I was wondering if, sorry, I can't do business with you until you've had a visitor identification card. It's, I ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Okay, where do I get one? Try the town hall down the street. Thanks, I don't want to do this puzzle right now. We'll go back to Ghostwood in a little bit. Oh, fox him! With the finger size hole shot through it. Literally a skeleton's butthole. Awesome. I have a skeleton's butthole now. Well, Terry Sam. Wait. I wasn't done. Go to the barrel pause. Beyond this gate are countless rows of columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there is 999 of them. You can visit the individual plot by any number. Let's visit a plot. One. You approach the grave. It reads, First Lieutenant Filmia Del Cruz, 4777th of Chief Medical Division. The soldier buried is making up a lot of noise. Let's dig it up and fight him. faster than us. Uh, he can deal bean damage to me! No bean damage! Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just play the snickly smack down on him. Thirty-five to fifty damage. I want to spawn a grunt. Especially if he's going to keep attacking me. I'm going to lower all your stats. Now you can't deal damage to me! Spawning a goon is literally not worth it. I love the way Gary sounds. I lowered your mysticality, though. No. I'm not gonna have it. I'm gonna keep lowering all his stats. I'm upset that he has survived. He's still dealing damage to me! I'll just shoot him in the face. Whew! Uh, you beat the skeleton and stuff what's left back into the grave. You got teeth, skull chip, and a bone. Visit a plot. Number two. She approaches and says, Sergeant 
Ammon, Bartran. You're rattling. Oh, dig it up. We've got the jump on him this time. Skeleton Cannoneer. We could probably take this guy down with a single, almost a single blast. Can I have your cannon? Damn it! Okay, you beat the skeleton whenever it's left. Okay, if I go back to two. I've already visited up plot and you've done everything there. Plot three. <laughs> Dig it up. Got an army lockbox. Uh, this is a set of personal effects which buried the soldier whose personal effects they were. Okay. Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> what the deuce? This is awesome. Uh, can I really, like, fight infinitely here? Not infinitely. There's not 199 graves. Got more teeth. Alright, let's check out over here for now. There is a shovel here. There's a caretaker shanty. Let's investigate it. You poke around the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking the duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Let's look at the tools. Uh, well, tool, singular, there's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, let's leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. Damn it! Let's look under the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Gross. Uh, scope out the shed. Uh, it's covered with old paint spattered newspapers and features a large collection of tiny jars and paints. Uh, tiny jars of paint, as well as a jar of finely tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Curious. Check out the flyers. Uh, you find a flyer for a military reenactment enthusiast society appearing as they met regularly at Fort Memoriam. Maybe that's where the caretaker went. You poke around the shed. Eternal flame. Caution, do not touch eternal flame. This is burning eternal flame, yes. This goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No. No? Is good fire not to wasting? Let Gary handle this. I don't... I don't, I don't have any money. The flames over the wall that way are short-lived and uninteresting. <laughs> awesome. Alright, well, let's go to five. We got the jump. Is there really that many of them? That would be insane. I would love it, though, because that'd be, like, disgustingly crazy. What are Gary's stats? Not that good. He's 11 armor, though. Gary can't fool himself. 1 to 1 damage. Spawn a goblin. Let's reduce stats. It's a good thing we did. I think that literally saved... That literally saved Gary's life. Now, can Gary deal damage? No. He can deal 5 damage. Let's just have him lower all his stats again. Unfortunately, Gary will fall in battle this time, but it gives us enough to... Well, we can finish him off regardless, but now I can finish him off with more gusto. You have 50 experience and a skeleton bone. Okay. I'm going to do this until we get to 10. That was 5. Let's go to 6. It approaches the grave. Second Lieutenant Ethel Russo, 69th Innuendo Division. Let's dig it up. Well, these jerks are quick. No, Gary! He's got a lot of moxie. Like, he actually... He actually will kill me. I have three turns to kill him. He'll kill me in two, I believe. Damn. He killed me in one! You bitch! You gained angry. It made you so angry that you pass out. <gasps> oh no! You wake up in the morning. Gary must have carried you back when you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but otherwise uh, any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. No! <laughs> Look how my stats have fallen. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
<clears throat> this is bad. I can't believe he one-shot me! You bitch! 800 experience points, though. Damn. Uh... These are really expensive now, so I don't want... I'll pay for this one, because we'll get more liver capacity. Uh, Wary increases my AP, which isn't important. Uh, Hellbender increases my spell damage, which is important. Um, I could buff this up. Let's buff up Bean Shield. Oh, it's only melee attacks? Well, let's buff it up at least once. Buff up our fire damage once. Not gonna buff this up. This is actually the one I was talking about buffing initially, but I'm not gonna buff it anyway. It's only... It's a little bit. Um, we could do blood beans. Not really worth buffing it because we need to immediately kill everything. I need to eat a lot more food. Shoot, I probably shouldn't have fought everything. I didn't actually realize you pass out. But I have, um... Uh, my pain tolerance. That was a gumption. Glamour. Grit. Pain tolerance is three. So I can get three bits of anger. Um. And I can yell at myself and then get three sets of pain to buff up my stats, which will be a plus 12 on everything, and then I can eat all the food and stuff. But I should probably just start naturally increasing these. 200 points. Maybe I should do the bean shield again. Or blood beans, or hell... Let's do hellbender. That's, like, guaranteed. Um, let's, let's leave mysticality alone. That one's actually, like, super high. There we go. And, uh, you know what? Why not? Butter bean can go up. It's not super good, because it's only one enemy, and Gary's is much stronger. Anyway. Well, that, like, leg that really sucks. Use the binoculars. Scan the horizon, can't find anything. Let's insult yourself. So now we have one stack of angry. Oh. I can just yell at myself all day long. Okay, then. Didn't, I didn't, I legitimately did not realize I could just yell at myself to buff up my stats. But, the penalty is, I'm close to death. Because if I, uh, if I get knocked, well, if I get knocked out once, I, I, it's game over. But, I can do my letter. And I can just go back. Hey, Cactus Man. Cactus Bill, I didn't expect to see you around these parts. Well, I gotta admit, I got a little nervous when I saw you leave Boring Springs, and I figured I'd hit you right out and see what I could see. Just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. Sure, there's sure are a lot of booths. A lot of both these days. Hey, nice pot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Well, to be honest, what's new is a profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well... It is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here. Or fail mad a normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? Not yet. Of course, getting around is a bit challenging, but those cactus live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody. Someday. I'll keep an eye out. Heck, I sure would appreciate that. Alright, cool. We have no money still. Which is a bummer. We got a package from Rufus! Hey, uh, hey I'm a human cognitive man. Mm, yep! Awesome! Hey, I'd like to send a postcard. You quickly write it to new Rufus, letting him know what you've been up to. Uh, that'll be. Oh, prepaid. Awesome. What'd you get, Rufus? Portable arcane oven. Installs an arcane oven in your room at the Jewel. This isn't gonna place because Okay. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, I sent the other one. Alright, so we'll set it up in the jewel, because I guess this is supposed to be our home base. Um, inventory, portable, use it. Got some all-purpose beans. Cook something simple, cook something amazing. How do we get that to level 3? How many points is that? Master cookery is 300? Really should have done that. Let's cook something amazing, then. Uh, let's not cook anything. These are all garbage. They're actually not garbage. Cook something simple. F plus five mysticality spell damage. That's pretty good. Uh, 
20% meat bonus. Not bad. I want the sublime beans. I want to get, like, some massive ones. But I'm going to go to bed, too. And then we're going to get another thing from Rufus. Sleep in my bed. Sleep. You dream that you're having lunch with Victoria while fleeing from a tree. Uh, suddenly, strange music plays. You wake up ready to face the new day. Dawn of the fourth day. We made it. The moon didn't fall on us. Anger, 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 anger. And don't pass out from anger. Alright. Let's game the system. What's up? It's still the wrong place. Mm, package from Rufus. Excellent. You got a package from your younger bro brother Rufus. He's weird, but a sweet kid. Hmm. The package is empty, or maybe Rufus sent you some kind of special air. That sounds like something he'd do. Breathe it in. <sighs> Whoa, it was special air! Awesome. Do I have any more postcards? Okay, I don't. Awesome! Alright, well, we'll be back in the next episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. We'll be back in the next episode. Bye-bye, everyone.